Hello and welcome coders to the sky coding. So from today onwards, we are going to start a new topic of snowflake that is streams. We will see what is a stream, what are the types of streams which are available to us in the snowflake and how can we create a streams on the permanent table, transient table, temporary table and external tables which we usually create on the external stage okay we cannot create an external table on the internal stages we have discussed this thing in the previous session okay so talking about the previous session so in the previous session we have covered about external tables on the external stages okay and we have also covered time travel zero copy cloning permanent transient and temporary table okay so the link will be given of the all of the videos in the description box and there is a complete playlist of the snowflake series okay you can visit to the description box and you can watch those videos of the snowflake series for better understanding of the snowflake concepts okay so now uh, let's uh, move ahead and let's understand the concepts of the snowflake okay so we will discuss uh, some of the concepts so first of all let's understand the contents of this session okay so we will discuss first what is the stream after that we will discuss metadata of the streams after that we will see how stream works in the snowflake and after that we will see consuming data from the streams okay we will see that how can we consume the data from the streams which data is being captured by the stream okay and we will see types of streams okay so let's uh, move ahead and let's first of all understand that what is a stream okay so basically a stream is an uh, snowflake object which we create usually on uh, any table for just capturing the changes uh, which are made to that table okay so it is uh, written here a stream object recalls dml changes made to the tables including inserts updates and deletes okay so basically a stream is an object which we usually create on any table so that uh, whatever changes made to that table will be just captured by the stream and that changes may be insert update or delete okay so that's all about the stream that what is a stream okay and we create uh, suppose that let's take an example of a customer table and there is a customer table and you have created uh, one stream on that customer table and after that you have just inserted some record into the customer table and you have just updated some record into the customer table and after that you have deleted some record into the customer table okay so these all the changes will be just recorded and captured by the stream object whatever stream you have created on that table okay and uh, that will be shown to the uh, person okay whenever you will just query the stream it will show that what are the changes which are made to that table the changes may be insert update or delete okay so uh, let's understand this thing in a in some big big business uh, business scenario okay so suppose that you are you are running a business and you have a one table of customer table okay and that customer table is being accessed by the hr department sales department and the marketing department as well okay so there are uh, support 10000 10, 000, 10 million 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 records into that customer table okay and that data is being used that table is being used by hr department also sales department also market department also okay so then uh, how can you understand that what are the changes which are being do, uh, done into that table in every second okay because that table is being accessed by all of the departments and all of the departments are doing some of the changes into that table uh, whether they are doing insert into that table inserting some records into that table HR department is inserting some record into that table and suppose that marketing marketing department is just uh, doing some uh, means uh, ins uh, insertion or select query or they are updating or they are deleting some record into that uh, from that uh, customer table okay so these are the changes which are being done in, into the customer table by all these three departments okay so how you will understand uh, suppose that you are an admin and how you will understand that what are the changes which are being done into the customer table by these departments okay so what you will do you will just create a stream on on that table and you will just capture uh, whatever the changes these departments are doing into the table these all the changes will be just captured by the stream okay and you can just uh, see the data into the stream that what are the insert update and deletes are done by all these three departments and you can just consume the data from the stream and you can just update that uh, change the data into the tables okay so you can just use the stream like that way as well as we have taken an example of the business requirement okay so this is basically the brief description of the stream that what is a stream and why we create a stream okay so also stream stores the metadata about each change so that actions can be taken using this metadata okay 
सो वट एवर यू स्ट्रीम यू हैव क्रिएटेड ऑन एनी ऑफ द टेबल इट विल जस्ट स्टोर द मेटा डेटा ऑफ वट एवर चेंजेस विच आर मेड टू दैट टेबल एंड सपोज दैट वी हैव टेकन एग्जाम्पल फॉर द एडमिन सो एडमिन कैन जस्ट कंज्यूम द डेटा फ्रॉम द स्ट्रीम एंड ही कैन जस्ट अपडेट दैट इन टू द टारगेट टेबल एंड ही कैन टेक द एक्शन सपोज दैट इंसर्ट अपडेट एंड डिलीट ओके इट विल जस्ट रिकॉर्ड ऑल दोज थिंग्स ओके सो वी कॉल दिस प्रोसेस एज चेंज डेटा कैप्चर एज वेल सी डी सी वी कॉल समटाइम्स स्ट्रीम एज अ सी डी सी एज वेल बिकॉज स्ट्रीम इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज जस्ट कैप्चरिंग द चेंजेस विच आर मेड टू द स्नोफ्लेक्ट टेबल दैट चेंजेस में बी इंसर्ट अपडेट और डिलीट सो दैट्स वाई इट इज जस्ट कैप्चरिंग द चेंज डेटा सो दैट वाई we are calling it as a cdc change data capture okay and in the fourth point it is written stream tracks all row level changes to the source table using offset but doesn't store changed data okay so stream will just store all the changes data means it tracks or whatever the changes are done into the source table by using the offset but it will not store the changed data whatever the change has been done it will just track all the recalls okay and it will show into the three columns metadata dollar action we will discuss that in the up upcoming slide okay and by using the offset okay suppose that they uh, now time is 10 am okay and offset means we have discussed offset time stamp and before any statement by using the query id we have discussed this thing in the time travel video you can watch that video if you want to understand offset uh, time stamp and before query in brief okay so offset is just suppose that now my time is 10 am okay and suppose that you have done any any of the changes into any table uh, at 9 am okay so you can use the offset by uh, by offset you can just do the time travel and you can query the historical data by using the offset as a minus 60 into 60 okay by which you can just get the data whatever the data is into that table before 60 minutes okay so you can just query that data by like that way by using the offset okay and once these changes are consumed by the target table this offset moves to the next point suppose that uh, there is a uh, some changes made to the table and stream has captured that changed data and you have just consumed that changed the data from the stream and you have just updated that into the target table then uh, that th then what the stream is then the stream will not have any data because you have just consumed the data from the stream to the target table then your offset will just move from that older time to the next point okay so that's why offset is moving okay whenever you will consume the data from the stream then offset will move to the next point okay so that's all is written into this point okay fifth point okay and this is stream can be combined with task to set continuous data pipelines okay we will discuss task in our upcoming videos then you will better understand about the task basically task is just we are scheduling some work Uh, to the query that uh, that query will be fired again and again and you will that query will be doing their work without any uh, human intervention okay and is no pipe plus stream plus task is equals to continuous data load okay so let's understand about this thing we will just create a one video on this is no pipe stream task uh, together and we will just do the continuous data loading from there what is stream doing stream will just uh, means stream will just capture the data which is being changed into the table and task will just schedule as uh, some of the query we will just schedule uh, some query into this task uh, that whatever the changes done into the table will just be uh, means just be loaded into the target table by using that task and what is no pipe will do is no pipe is a basically <coughs> uh, it is a type of thing which we use is no pipe for continuous data loading means auto ingestion okay so is no pipe will just do the auto ingestion means it will just auto ingest the data whenever new data will come into the uh, suppose that let's take an example of the external table external stages so whatever the data is being uh, means uh, coming into the external stage that a uh, data will be just loading into the tables automatically means uh, you are just scheduling one task okay we will discuss this thing in a uh, practical whenever we will do practical then you will better understand this thing okay and stream can combine with the tasks to set a continuous uh, data pipeline okay uh, you can just schedule the task as well okay and, uh, you can take an example of any website as well okay suppose that uh, there is a uh, one website and there is a uh, uh, some uh, means uh, some form type of thing and whenever you will fill uh, whenever customer will fill that form uh, suppose that he will fill email id password uh, password and uh, first name last name gender and all these things then all this data from that website will directly move to the customer table directly means 
this will do the task by doing by just scheduling the task we are just scheduling the task and that task is just firing that insert query again and again it will just uh, inserting the record into the customer table directly without doing uh, human, any human intervention okay because we are if we will we don't know that when that customer will uh, just fill the form okay so we uh, we will just schedule the task and it will just insert uh, whenever customer will insert the new record into that form then that form uh, that uh, this task will just move again and again it will, and it will just insert the record from that form into that customer table directly without any human intervention okay so this is basically the task what task we do with the task we just schedule any work okay that this work should uh, done uh, this query should be filed uh, again and again means every day every minute like that we can schedule okay so we will discuss about task in upcoming session then you will better understand this thing okay so that's all about the stream stream is an object which we create on a table for just capturing the changes whatever changes are made to that table and that changes may be insert update and delete okay so now let's understand about the metadata of the streams okay because whenever you will create a stream it will just create uh, whenever you will just query the stream then it will create a three columns as well metadata dollar action metadata dollar is update metadata dollar row id okay we will discuss okay Although with the changes made to the source table, stream maintains three metadata fields. Okay, whenever you will create uh, any of the stream into any of the table, then whenever uh, that stream is capturing the data uh, of any changed data, and whenever you will just query the stream changed data, then you will be able to see these three columns along with the uh, data columns. Okay. So we will discuss this thing brief. Uh, whenever you, we will do the practical, then you will better understand those things. Okay. So meanwhile, just uh, uh, look up into the concepts of these things. That what is a metadata action? Metadata action is a uh, column which you will see. It will just indicates the DML operation and insert or delete will be recorded into this column. Okay. Suppose that there is a customer table and you have just inserted some data into the customer table and after that you have just. Uh, and deleted some of the record from the customer table okay then uh, you have inserted some record and you have just uh, deleted from some record from the customer table then that uh, insert and delete will be recorded by the stream and you will be able to see this in the metadata action folder uh, you have uh, you will able to see insert and delete into that table okay and we will discuss this thing in brief when we will do practical then you will better understand that thing okay and the second is metadata is update dollar is update okay so it indicates whether the operation was a part of update statement updates to rows in the source table are represented as a pair of delete and insert records in the stream with the metadata column metadata is update value set to true okay so metadata action will just store the dml operation insert or up delete okay suppose that whenever you will do any insert or delete into the table then that will be captured by the stream and that will be insert and delete will be shown by the metadata action column okay and whenever you will do any of the updates and as we have taken example of the customer table and now we are just updating some of the record into the customer table then that updation will be just captured by this metadata is update folder and metadata is update folder will follow the boolean value means it will show just uh, true or false but metadata action will show you the value insert it will uh, show you the insert delete like that okay but metadata is update will I will show you uh, like uh, uh, like boolean value it will uh, suppose that you have done any of the updation then it will show true and if, if you will not do any of the updation then it will show false okay like that okay and uh, let's uh, talk, tell you one thing as well suppose that you have uh, any table okay uh, means customer table and you are just updating something okay suppose that there is a, a customer table and there is a one uh, record a first name as aman and you want to update that aman with ankit new name okay so whenever you will do the updation uh, suppose that you want to update the aman with ankit okay so what it is update okay so you will just uh, first of all delete the aman from there and after that you will insert new record that is ankit there okay so this is update you can say update is a combination of delete and insert okay which is written here update to the rows in the source object are represented as pair of delete and insert records in the stream with the metadata column metadata is update value set to true okay <coughs> 
whenever you will do any of the changes means any of the updation then that updation will be just captured by this column and it will show the boolean value true if there is you have done any of the update okay and if you haven't done any of the update then it will show false okay and whenever you will do any of the update then update will be captured as the pair of delete and insert okay as we have taken an example of aman and ankit there is a earlier record aman into the table and you are just updating aman with ankit okay so it will just first of all delete 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 the aman from the table and it will just insert the ankit into that table so update updation is just a combination of delete and insert first the older record will be deleted so that aman is now first of all aman is deleted and after the new record will be inserted that is ankit okay so updation is a combination of delete and insert okay we will understand this thing in practical okay and this is a simple metadata dollar row id it will just store the unique and immutable id for the row okay which can be used to track the changes to the specific rows over time it is just you can say a row id only okay it will just uh, means store the row id which we can use for the stream changes which are captured by the stream okay so that's all about the metadata uh, columns metadata action will store the insert and delete and metadata is update will store the boolean value if you had done any of the updated it will show true and if you haven't done then it will so false okay so that's all about the metadata column okay <coughs> So now let's understand very very important concept that is stream. Okay, so how stream works and data flow. Okay, we, this is a very important diagram. Okay, because uh, we have to understand this diagram for better understanding of the streams concept. Okay, so. Now, how stream works and uh, let's understand this thing okay so basically uh, there are uh, th basically this is a v1 stream and this is a v2 stream and this is a v3 stream okay first of all let's understand the uh, this uh, uh, first of all uh, let's understand this index okay then we will uh, understand this thing better okay so black uh, this is whatever written here in in black will just it is just indicating the insert suppose that this is written this is just a insert okay and whatever written in blue uh, blue it is for update this and whatever written in red it is for deleting we are just deleting this banana three okay so let's understand this diagram for better understanding of the stream data flow concept okay so here apple this is a table and it is having a column column one column two okay and we are just inserting one record here apple and uh, in the apple in column one and five in column two okay we are having five apple so we are just inserting this apple five into this uh, table okay we are inserting the record and we have this stream which is created into this table okay uh, this is a stream which is created into this table and let's see that how this insertion is captured by the stream okay this is a stream and let's see that how this insertion uh, apple 5 is captured by this stream okay so whenever you will just query the stream so it will show like that it will show your columns means this uh, this data you have just inserted so it is showing column 1 apple and column 2 5 which you have inserted and it is saying uh, showing these three columns as well metadata columns we have discussed in the previous slide metadata dollar action metadata dollar is update and this is basically the row id okay metadata uh, dollar row id okay so we have inserted this apple 5 record into the table so it has just captured apple 5 for insertion and it is showing metadata dollar action as insert it is showing here insert okay and we have also discussed that metadata dollar update will be just a boolean value if there is any update is going on then it will just show you the true and if it, there is no update so it will show okay, false okay as here we are just inserting the record so it has just shown here metadata action as insert and metadata update is false because we are not doing any of the updation here okay so that's uh, how uh, stream will capture the inserts record okay we are inserting apple 5 here so it has captured insert here and metadata is updated false okay so that's all uh, how stream will capture the insertion of the record okay and this is a v2 stream okay this is a table and here we have inserted two, two records orange 2 we have inserted and banana 3 we have inserted and apple 9 we are just updating this okay you can see the index for blue we are just updating earlier we have apple 5 recall and now we are just updating apple 5 with apple 9 okay so we are doing updation here okay so this orange 2 and banana 3 will be just an insert okay metadata action will be just insert you can see here orange 2 we have inserted so it is showing insert and metadata is updated false okay and banana 3 we have inserted so it is showing metadata action is insert and metadata is update is false okay and this is apple 9 so uh, we are 
are already having apple 5 data and now we are just in, uh, updating this with apple 9 okay so what it will do we have discussed earlier that uh, aman and ankit example we are just updating aman with ankit so it will just uh, uh, delete aman first and after that it will just insert new record that is ankit so here also it will first delete this apple 5 after that it will just insert the new record that is aman and whatever is uh, <coughs> what it is done here okay you can see here okay first of all we have um, apple 5 so it is just uh, deleting this so here this metadata action is delete okay and we are just updating so that's why it has shown the boolean value true for the metadata is update okay you can see here okay first of all it has deleted apple 5 from here after that it, it has inserted new record apple 9 you can see metadata action is insert here and here apple 5 we are deleting it so metadata action is delete and here it is true because we are updating and apple 9 we are just inserting new record by just updating this one deleting this one so you can see metadata action is insert and you can see the boolean value is true okay so we have discussed that uh, update is a combination of a uh, delete and insert first of all it is deleting this record apple 5 from the table and now it is just inserting the new record okay and you can see metadata is update is true here because we are just updating the record and you can see metadata action is delete here and here insert okay so that's all about the second stream that uh, how stream is capturing the uh, updates updation of the record okay for updation it is just showing two rows here for uh, first for delete and second one is for insert okay and now let's uh, take a uh, uh, look into this uh, v3 stream and let's uh, see about the delete uh, delete data okay so red one is for delete okay so we are just deleting this banana 3 record from the table banana 3 okay banana 3 you can see okay so for deletion it will just store like that metadata is action delete okay you can see metadata is update is false because we are not doing here updation we are just doing the deletion so it is just showing metadata action is delete okay so by this way stream is capturing the data for insertion it is just showing insertion and is updated false because we are not doing any of the updation and for the updation we are uh, showing here uh, two columns stream is showing okay, first one is delete and second one is insert okay and this is for deletion it will just show metadata action is true and metadata is updated false it is update will be just true only whenever you are doing any of the updates and rest it will be just false in the case of insert and in the case of delete as well okay so this is that how stream works and what is the basically the data flow of the stream okay so we will uh, i have just uh, uh, described these things and we will just better understand these things whenever we will do the practical okay so let's uh, move ahead and let's understand about consuming data from streams that how can we uh, consume the data I, as earlier we have just some of the insert some of the updates and some of the deletes okay and after that that insert update delete will be just captured by the stream and how can we just consume that data from the stream to the target table the target table will be some other table means when where is that is a main table and where you are just updating the record that whatever changes is being captured by the stream okay <clears throat> So we use merge statement for consuming the changes from stream and applying the same on the target tables. Okay, basically we use a merge command for just consuming the changes uh, which are captured by the stream and applying that to the target tables. Okay, so I uh, to identify the insert record. Suppose that there is a, some of the insertion have been done on the table. Okay, so how to consume that insert record? Okay insert record and how to means you can just identify what are the query you can perform okay suppose that uh, you are just performing uh, means you are just want to extract some data from the normal table let's take it for normal okay suppose that there is a table first name last name and gender okay suppose that you want to perform any query for getting the uh, records of the gender will be male okay? so you are just performing select asterisk from table name after that you are putting where gender equals to female or gender equals to male whatever query you want to fire you are firing like that in the normal okay but here in the stream you uh, suppose that you want to identify you want to consume the record for the insert okay so how to do that you can just give select asterisk from and stream name where uh, metadata is action is insert and metadata is updated is false okay so for insert i have told you that metadata action will be just insert and metadata is update will be false uh, always okay except that uh, updation okay whenever we will do the updation then only this metadata is update will be true rest all it will be false in the case of insert and delete okay so metadata is action is insert where 
and metadata update is for then we can just uh, query that data is insert data insert code okay and for the update a metadata is action will be insert and metadata update will be two because we are doing update and for the delete metadata action will be delete and metadata update will be false because we are not doing any of the updation here okay note if you want to consume these changes to the multiple table then we have to create multiple stream okay and we can create a multiple streams on the single table that's also a very important point okay if you want to consume uh, suppose that there is any changes which is just consumed by the tables and you want to uh, miss update that changes that uh, changes which are captured by the stream to the multiple tables then you have to create the multiple tables as well okay and there is a one point as well very important that you can create a multiple streams on the single table okay <coughs> So we will just consume these things, consume data from the streams of insert record, update record and delete record in the practical, then you will better understand those things. Okay. So now that's all about the consuming data from the streams. And now let's understand about the types of streams which are available to us into the snowflake. Okay. So basically we are having three types of uh, streams okay first one is standard stream append only stream insert only stream okay so this is standard stream standard stream is a stream which will capture all of the dml changes whether it is a insert update or delete okay and append only stream it will just store the insertion where whenever you will done any of the insertion into the table then it will just capture the insert insert record it will not capture a delete or update okay and this is insert only stream it will just support on the external table only on the external stage okay <clears throat> for the permanent and transient or temporary table we have these two streams standard streams and the append only stream and this is the insert only stream which will be just supported for the external tables okay you cannot use insert only streams uh, for the permanent table or the transient or the temporary table okay so let's understand these things one by one standard stream okay so a standard stream tracks all the dml changes made to the source object including insert update and delete including table truncates okay so standard stream is a uh, is a stream which is a by default we will create okay for a standard stream create or replace a stream after that a stream name on table table name okay so a standard stream is a stream and this is a syntax of the standard stream so you can say standard stream is a stream which will capture all of the dml changes which are made to the table okay whether that changes is a insert suppose that you are inserting some record into the table you are doing updation you are doing deletion or you are doing the uh, truncates of the table then all these insert update and deletes or as well as truncates will be just captured by the standard stream okay so standard stream will capture all of the changes which are made to the tables okay so that's all about the standard stream okay and append only stream and append only stream tracks row insert only update and delete operations including table truncates are not recorded okay and suppose that you, this is basically the syntax for append only so you have to just give this like create or replace stream stream name on table table name after that you have to give append only equals to true so this is your append only stream and it will just uh, miss capture the changes of the table which are insert changes okay so it whenever you will just insert some record into that table it will just capture and record that changes only and whenever you are doing any of the deletion or updation on that table it will not uh, store that thing into this stream append only stream okay so this is the append only stream it will just uh, track the changes for insertion it will not uh, do uh, it will not record the changes for the update and delete okay <coughs> and this is an insert only stream okay supported for external tables only and insert only stream tracks row insults only they do not record delete operations okay insert only stream is you can just create this insert only stream on the external tables only because there is an external table and external table is just supporting the read only means read only type of query means you can just perform perform the select query on the external tables you cannot perform the dml operations on the external tables okay we have discussed about the external tables how can you create the external tables on the external stages so it's better to watch that external tables video before watching uh, this stream because external tables on the external stages is a very important concept okay? because it's external tables is just a read only tables so we can just uh, we cannot perform the dml operations there okay so that's why we are just giving insert only streams there okay so for creating the stream on the external table you can just you create or replace stream 
on external table table name and insert only will be true okay you can try this with you can try creating the append only stream on the external table and it will show you the error you can just try that thing okay so this is all about the types of streams which are available to us and we will just create all these three types of stream in my practical session then you will better understand these things okay we will just create this standard stream append only stream on the transient table permanent table on the temporary table and these table and these streams you can create on any of the table transient table permanent table and temporary table okay and we will also create the insert only stream on the external table okay so that's all about the types of streams and that's all about the streams session okay we have covered lots of concepts of the streams types of stream and we have also covered the data flow diagram of the stream and now we will do the practical of this uh, in uh, this streams then you will better understand about the stream concept we will just do the data capturing as well and we will just create the stream on transient table permanent table and on the external table as well okay then you will better understand the concept of the stream okay and we will just uh, do the concept of the stream plus task as well okay so all the links will be given in the description box you can watch uh, all the videos for better understanding of the snowflake concept okay and meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial of the part two of the stream okay where we will do the practical of the streams okay so it's better to watch that practical session as well because practical session is very important okay so that's all for today meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial of the practical session of the streams okay so that's all the link will be given in the description box only for the part two of the practical session of the streams okay so that's all